We are coming off a month full of symbols from candy canes to Christmas trees. January is a little bit more limited. There really is only one motif, so we are celebrating it all week on Studio 5, inviting a different artist each day to show us how they snowflake, or in other words, use their medium of choice to create and replicate Mother Nature's winter, winter jewel. Today we pick up the paintbrush and give watercolor a try using a technique that actually incorporates a common kitchen ingredient. Natalie Mayland is our guide today and that is a beautiful piece of paper. It's great to see you. Happy New Year. I'm so happy to be here. It's been great. We're thrilled to have you back. Watercolor, it seems, is a natural extension of the look we want when we set out to create a snowflake oh. because it's soft. It's pretty, everything a snowflake is. It's so ethereal, right? Yes, I mean, and it's just really fun to do. Yes. And it's a great like family project. It's a fun, just a relaxing thing. That's probably the number one thing people say is, it's just, it feels so relaxing to watch you paint, you know, the close up shot of like the brush gliding on the paper. And it's really fun to do. And it's an easy one without a lot of cleanup. You don't have a lot of, you know, oil paints. It's like you need the thinner, you need the, you know. Mm -hmm. So watercolor is a great one. Is this snowflake you're gonna, going to show and teach us today a good beginner's project? It's a great beginner's yeah. project. Because I've set up a couple things on the blog. I have this fun printable you can download. If you don't feel comfortable with drawing, that's fine. You can use some things I have here. Um, watercolor pencils are a great thing to trace this on with. Okay. A lot of people have not used these. I actually had a freelance job for them drawing the illustration on the front of these pencils. Oh, how fun. And so I had to learn how to use them really quickly because <laughs> of that. Okay. But I love them and I've used them ever since. So it's just, whoops, here we go. It's just a fun pencil and you can do them. There's all different colors. Watercolor so you can pencils. Use these to trace it and draw it on. If okay. you need to trace it on a window, that's uh -huh. why it's a dark black. You can pin it to your window and then put your watercolor paper on top and just lightly sketch it okay. out and then paint on top. Using the light as kind of your light table behind. Yes, if you don't have a light box or you know that kind of equipment. So this doesn't replace the actual watercolor, this just gives us it the doesn't, design. It could, yeah, this just gives you like a nice little guide to follow okay. if you're uncomfortable with your drawing. Okay. Because snowflakes are symmetrical and that is one of the hard things about them, right? The beautiful mm. symmetry in the straight lines. Mm -hmm. And so if you do them a little bit larger, that makes it easy. But what I wanna show you yes. is how fun it is to do some salt. This is really fun. Now you wanna make sure you tape it all the way around four sides. Okay. And then I'm just gonna let you just grab some different blue colors. You okay. cannot mess this oh, up. Boy. So just don't go for it. say that. You really don't. can't. <laughs> okay. Like you'll be fine. And you just put big washes, the just darker. Wash? Yep, just wash. Okay. The darker you go, the more your snowflake is going to pop uh -huh. against it when it dries. Okay. So just nice big wash. You can use, you know, if, it, if it's drying on this side, you can add some more water. So this is just the background. This is just the background. So it's okay. gonna give you this like beautiful. What am I doing? Any water is great. Okay. Again, you know, <sighs> if you use the one that has a little bit of milky white to it, it's just gonna, and you can even go darker. Really? The watercolor is gonna lighten as it dries with a dark color. Mm -hmm. Something I talk about in my classes all the time. So mm -hmm. it likes to live in its happy space. So if you do a dark color, it's gonna lighten. If you do a light color, it's gonna get darker. Okay. So, perfect. Good enough. And then what you wanna do, grab a pinch of salt here and just start oh, sprinkling. Oh, just any salt. Yes, any salt. You can use, what's the kind you use on your driveway or your sidewalk, what's that? You know, you use ice salt, <laughs> right? I don't Good. Know salt. I was gonna say sidewalk salt. Sidewalk but salt. Yeah. I think ice melt is, is ice melt. a more proper term. Yeah, and that'll give you a big chunky okay. look to it. You can use a table salt. That but the really coarser fine. salt is gonna look really fun. It looks really cool. So yeah. this is kosher salt that we're using today. So then you let this dry completely and okay. then untape it. Okay. And then what I love to do is use an old gift card. Uh -huh. This is the satisfying part. So I feel like you need to do this part. Oh, okay. You can just lay it right on there. Okay. Normally you wouldn't do this. Oh, and scrape it off? And just scrape off all that okay. salt. Okay, all right. So you want to scrape off the salt before you go and paint on top of it, right? Because oh, it makes it, it's just so fun, right? To look at that. Just look scrape it off. how pretty that is. That is satisfying, you're and right. And it leaves these beautiful marks in the background mm -hmm. that they just add a little bit more depth to your picture. Yes, that's a background you can never recreate with just your free hands. I mean, it would take a really long time. Yeah, yeah. And then I've, I've Now he's like, I probably could actually I mean, Brooke, you but could, but it would take so I know, long. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it, would, it would take a couple days. So then now what I wanna talk about is a couple of supplies that are really fun. Cause you know me, I like, I love trying new brushes yes. and I love trying new supplies. Yes. So we have two brushes. So this is a liner brush. Okay. And then this is a type of liner brush but this one has kind of a flat tip on it. Mm. So yours has more of a tapered point mm -hmm. if you want your snowflakes to have a wispy edge. Okay. Or you can have one with a flat tip. 
So what a liner brush does, if you, do you have shaky hands? I have really shaky yes, hands. Yes, yeah. So a liner brush is what lettering artists and people use to get really smooth lines and curves. Mm. So if you use one that has a really long tip, mm -hmm. so the tip on this is really, really long. It's gonna smooth it out. It will smooth help out the smooth stroke. it out, yep. Okay. And then I also wanna shoot, this is my very favorite white. What's that? Oh. It's called bleed proof white. Bleed proof. And a lot of illustrators use this. I don't know if everybody uses this, but it's amazing. It has zinc in it, so it's a really, really opaque white. Oh, pretty. It's, I've tried all of the whites. I just want you to know. Okay. And this is my favorite. Okay. And it's great because you can put it in a little dish like this. Uh -huh. It's kind of thick. Okay. So you kind of you scoop a little bit out. Yeah. And then you put, I put a little water. Uh -huh. And then you just kind of. So that true make it white creamy. will really pop on that background it will pop we just so did. Well. Yeah. Because so many whites go transparent and mm -hmm. they don't stay bright, bright, bright white. Mm -hmm. And then if you've already drawn it out, you can just come through and start, you know, tracing things on, or you can freehand it if you feel like freehanding it is the way to go. But if you do it this way, it's just a little bit faster. This is fun. And then you get more painting time. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And so I love, I love, love, love doing that. Now, let's say you're like, okay, a brush isn't gonna work for me. Yeah. Acrylic paint marker. That, that's our next best this friend? This is your next best friend. Okay. And this one's really fun too, because in the background of the snowflakes, you can add little dots. Oh, cute, kind of a doodle effect. You can do little doodles and yes. little, you can splatter it too, but when I was splattering, I got it all over and I had to like stop and go wash my shirt. And <laughs> you know, so maybe wear an apron if you're gonna splatter. But you can do, you know, little, what is that? A plus sign? Yeah. You can do a longer one with more coming through. Just kind of character marks. You can just do lots of fun little embellishments on yes. top. And that's, that's part of my favorite. This thing. is so lovely. And you're right, so soothing to watch it's and so even soothing. to do from the beginner perspective. I can attest to that. You can, can do a whole page of them. You can draw your own. All right, so watercolor paper, a watercolor palette, some salt, and then a white line of your choice, whether it be marker, marker or that bleed-proof white that you recommended. Yes, I do love the bleed. And you can buy this at a craft store. Okay. You don't have to go to, you know, a specialty art store to what get this. What a fun this. project, Natalie. Thank I use this you. so much. Show us how you snowflake with beautiful watercolor, a little bit of coarse salt, and the effect is really just stunning and mesmerizing to look at the way the colors blend, which I know is, you know, the true mark of watercolor. Thank you so much. Yeah. You have a website I and you, do. You've, in, you've updated it in a way oh that we goodness. can now shop your classes directly, right? So many people have asked me to do online classes, online classes, and I now have two different online classes. It's kind of sets of online classes okay. and they come with the supplies you need to take the class. A beautiful bundle, a, beautiful a kit. set. It has a lot of paint in it. You'll yeah. use it for a really long time. So you don't have to come to an in-person workshop now. You can actually take it online. Learn how to be a watercolor artist from home. I like the sound of that. What's your website? It's nataliemalin.com. Okay, we'll link you from ours for an easy connection point. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.